Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. So, in this episode, we are going to be checking out the new miniature bank here, as well as the miniature bank truck here sent to me by Callum. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this bank truck throughout the whole series. I might replace it with a more traditional Canadian based bank truck in the future but for now we are going to use this until I actually get to that if I do get to that but before we check out the bank and stuff here we are actually going to check out a few other changes so this is the plot for the bank it has a little parking lot here with a bunch of stalls and one stall here for the bank truck and its crew to unload money and such but we also have another empty space here that we can put a building so if you guys have any suggestions for what I should put on this plot let me know it has to be relatively small to fit up here because the bank is taking up some of the room but anyways another one of the changes is this other parking lot over here you guys wanted more parking lots because there's not much parking space along the roads here i couldn't really fit them because i'm trying to make this as miniature and as performance safe as possible so we got this little alley here as well it goes up to the hospital here and this is where the ambulance can pull in end out here which is pretty nice instead of having to back in here so this is the new parking lot here this is for all of the stores around this area it's free 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 to park here so you guys don't have to worry about it we got i think about 14 stalls here to park and we got one car in it and this car i believe was made by mr krofka but anyways we got this little old car here we're gonna get in it and we are going to try it out so let's take a little ride around the city there's a few other changes that I want to show you guys. We got some more green plots around the city just to make it look a little more nice until I actually fill up those plots. Other than that, there is not too many other changes except over there by that side of the town. There is stop signs instead of traffic lights. Also, these roads here do not have any stop signs or traffic lights going through it's just a straight drive except on the sides and up here pretty cool so let's head back to oh i almost flipped that <laughs> let's head back to the bank we're gonna be checking that out this episode i'm not sure how long this episode will be because there's not too much oh we gotta stop here oh i tried pressing space to break but that makes you jump out <laughs> and i think we stopped long enough now we can continue and it is a red light. Gotta wait for the green light. Wait, we kind of started to go early. So let's park this old car inside this little parking lot here. Now this parking lot doesn't really fit um, larger vehicles. It really only fits small vehicles like this. Anyways, let's hop out. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. Nice. Close the door. And there we go. So let's check out the bank truck here that was sent to me by Callum. So in here, we got like a little utility door here that has the controllers, the engine, and some boxes and stuff. Pretty basic. And in the back, we actually have the safe. There's, there's a safe inside the bank truck, I guess. <laughs> so let's open this up. Some ducks and some gold coins. Pretty cool. Let's close that close this door here let's take this little bank truck for a drive and see how it fares now i had to modify this a little bit i changed the color scheme to a blue white and gray as well as i had to add some metal underneath so that it wouldn't flip but anyways here we go just gonna take this for a little spin now like i said this parking lot doesn't really fit larger vehicles but that's fine all right so here we go Let's just drive this around and see how how it handles. It works pretty great, actually. It turns pretty sharp, which is nice. Look at that. Stop sign. Oh, we're good. That that was that was a horrible stop. <laughs> Luckily, there's no police on duty right now. Okay, let's park this back. Oh, look at that. Two wheels there. <laughs> good enough for now. Let's hop out. And let's go check out the new bank. You guys wanted to see a bank. And here is, this one's a little more modern than the Miniature City version 1's bank. The one in V1 was kind of old, and uh, this one's a little more modern, like I said. So let's go inside here. We got double doors here. Um, there's not much space in here, so I had to make them go that way, but that's fine. 
We got the ATMs here with a camera warning sign. But I actually, I don't actually have any cameras in here at the moment. I might have to make them, but I'm trying to look for a good design. So in here, we got the waiting room. There's a bunch of chairs in here. We got a table, some plants everywhere. And we have like this little gate thing. It doesn't work, but I think some banks actually have a little gate. So that when they close, they could close this for extra safety precautions. And then over here, we got the counters, of course. You just go up here to... um put that welding gun away we can we can uh, talk to the bank tellers to withdraw or deposit cash and basic stuff like that so let's head behind the counter here I was gonna put a door here but what I think I might do is I might eventually add like a bar door here that just goes at a horizontal path so let's head back here so back here this is where the tellers would sit they got computers they got um, I guess these cash boxes here, cash registers, I guess. Buttons for the cash boxes, as well as these buttons here. Now these buttons here actually initiate an alarm. So let's press that. It just sets off an alarm to warn the police that there's a robbery going on or some type of bad incident. So let's turn that off. It gets quite annoying. That's pretty much it for the back here. So let's head over here and this is the vault now this is pretty simple i didn't have much room to work with but i think it is a lot better than the very first vault i made in the previous city so let's open this up usually you wouldn't just have a button here to open it but uh let's just say there's a keypad i didn't really want to go to that depth because i'm trying to conserve on how many logic gates and stuff of that sorts i have in the city so let's just let's press this button here it'll turn that uh big dial there and it will open up. That goes the lever. And nice. So inside we got like these little bars here to resemble a gate. There's usually a gate right here. And inside what we have is a few little shelves here with gold coins. Yep, yep. Gold coins, I guess. <laughs> then over here we got some more drawers. They're usually locked and sometimes they have personal belongings in them for uh, people's storage. Or they also have money in them at times, which is pretty cool. But that is pretty much it for the vault. If you guys have any suggestions at all for the bank, let me know. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Let's head back out. Let's close the vault. And let's take a look at this and see how it turns. And there we go. It is locked. <laughs> so if I figure out an easy way to add a locking mechanism, I might. But I don't want to go too in-depth with it. Because this is just for like roleplay Anyways, you guys you guys could just press the button and go in if you want. You could break a hole in the wall if you want, really wanted. Speaking of a hole in the wall, I have an event coming to this bank in the future. If you guys see it at Mini City 1, you might know what it is. And that might not be for a while because I got to get some of the other uh, districts going first before that. So that's pretty much it for the bank, except there's one extra little feature. And this was more for the fun of it. So we're going to press this button here. And that's going to activate something pretty funny outside. So let's head outside. And up top, a spinning money side. Why the money side? Because I couldn't fit the word bank up there. So let's go turn that off. That's not supposed to be spinning all the time. And there we go. Let's head back out. Close the door. And there's the bank. Pretty nice looking. Now if you guys have any suggestions at all for more future buildings. Anything relating to the main streets here or this type of district let me know in the comments and i shall try to build them i think coming up next what i'm going to be doing is adding a few shops over here and some other stuff of that nature if i could figure out some stuff that fits this district maybe like a little bookstore and art gallery or a museum would kind of fit this maybe an all-in-one type of thing in one whole plot but anyways guys that is pretty much it for this episode if you enjoyed make sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe if you have not already and thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye